Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. This video is the part of inventory management or stock management uh, playlist. And today I'm going to discuss about the good movements, goods movement in between the warehouses. And you will also learn about the good receipt and good issues. How you can create the inventory transfer request and inventory transfer between the warehouses and between the bin locations inside one warehouse. And uh, we're going to discuss everything in detail about the good issue, good receipt and inventory uh, transfers uh, right after this. So let's assume that the, your customer company is using uh, the different warehouses and uh, you and trying to uh, trying to move move the items between the warehouse to improve the availability of the stock into the into the nearby location so that the delivery would be easy of each items uh, accordingly when they buy or sell some items. So sometimes you receive the item into the stock that do not come through the regular purchasing or the production process. Right, and sometime also uh, you issued the stock because of uh, the you uh, your company has just discarded or discontinued the product uh, from from the market, or you don't wanna uh, you, your company decided not to continue with some product. So that's uh, uh, that's one of also case uh, to remove the items from your warehouse, and sometimes your company receives some sample which uh, some sample from your new vendor which is not in your SAP business one and uh, so that's why you cannot create the good good receipt PO so that time you have to create the GR PO right so there could there could be the multiple scenarios and we're going to discuss every scenario one by one right so first of all let's discuss about the uh, the effect of good receipt and uh, good issue uh, into the inventory transfer uh, and inventory transaction so if you see uh, closely about the good receipt and good issue is that the both form looks somehow so similar and uh, what happened in the good uh, like what are the different cases when the items come inside your warehouse so like when, when uh, generally when you create the good receipt PO that time or some you uh, doing the good returns that time someone uh, sending you the uh, sending the item back that time as well right and someone doing the good receipt using this this screen that time as well and also the good receipt for the final product from the production right so that time also uh, the the, uh, the inventory of the warehouse or the pat that particular item goes up right and what are the cases when the good issue uh, good issue happen is uh, is like basically when you uh, it, it is the time when when the item is goes goes out from your inventory is like delivering some item uh, to your customer right or is showing uh, or making the good return or the good replacement of the item of that particular damage item from uh, to your customer right from the warehouse or or making making the good issue uh, for for the several cases that time also right so what happened is basically the good receipt document are used for receiving inventory that is not purchased or produced right in this one so uh, for example one of the example could be here is as i said uh, you are just receiving a sample from your customer to inspect or check the check the quality of the product if you want to continue or you want to give give the business to that vendor so that time you choose to receive it into the warehouse on the good receipt rather than grpo because the item is not relevant for the pricing or purchasing analysis reports right so that's why you will prefer to for the good receipt now the inventory transfer document if we open here is looks somehow sim uh, like this and basically it's inventory transfer is basically used to either either move one item from uh, one uh, from one warehouse to the different warehouse or from the same warehouse into the different bin locations as well so that time you can use the inventory transfers good issue can be useful where the items are damaged in your warehouse or let's say some 
uh, some natural uh, natural hazard come like the earthquake or the flooding or something into your warehouse and it damage all the goods inside and uh, and you will not be able to sell that item anymore or some expire some expiry product uh, that you want to throw out from out of your warehouse so that time you can use the good issue because they're gonna they uh, because it's gonna reduce the quantity from your warehouse without affecting anything into your reporting so as you can see that the good receipt, uh, good receipt and good issue document is somehow similar uh, and they are look alike. This is called the general area uh, one and this one is the general area two and this is called the table window and um, the whole screen look uh, look very alike, right? And the good issue, good issue and good receipt windows uh, basically uh, trying to uh, affect, affect the warehouse warehouse quantity right and uh, if you do not uh, specify a warehouse for example in, in the lines uh, then they're gonna use the default warehouse from the item master data and uh, like uh, apart from the uh, marketing document like unlike the marketing document used in the sales and purchasing process you cannot enter here a business partner if you see here and if you compare this this is screen like the good issue let's say if you're gonna compare this with the grp or then in the grp you can enter the vendor name right but in here it's there is no information for the vendor right so uh, that's and that's one of the difference between the grp and the good receipt uh, there, there are also some of the difference between the good receipt and good issue uh, document one of the main main differences uh, like the good receipt document is allow you to enter the price of the item entering into into the warehouse this one and uh, in the good issue on the other hand is use the item cost to calculate the value of accounting transaction and the price field for is only here for the information purpose right and so for example we can go ahead and uh, let's let's issue some of the let's let's create the document for the good issue so let's say i have sorry I have a printer, right? And I'm gonna say I bought the hundred quantity of this printer uh, into. We have to. I, I wanna select the warehouse too, but I cannot see the warehouse, so I have to enable it from uh, the phone setting, right? I'm gonna enable the warehouse here, and now we can see the warehouse. I wanna choose the B01 right and i need the 100 quantity with this unit price i'm gonna add this good receipt and once the good receipt added you will see in the uh, inventory data that in our this warehouse with this bin we have uh, the, the 100 stocks uh, or in our in our uh, in our available quantity right is increased by the 100 stock and in the same case if you want to issue the item using the good issue then you can simply go to the inventory transaction open the screen select the same item i want to reduce the quantity with the 50 because they are let's say damaged and i just enter the good issue and you will see that the, it reduced the quantity of the item by by 50 now that's my mistake i picked the different warehouse I picked the different warehouse because I think I picked the default one, the first one, and it just reduced the quantity from zero one. But we want to reduce the quantity of the item from yeah, it's it selected the zero one. But let's say I'm gonna duplicate that, and I'm gonna change the uh, warehouse to the B zero uh, one, right? And I'm picking the on bin location if like there is only one bin location right now that we having so this one we're gonna uh, reduce then i just created and now you will see uh, if you're gonna refresh the document then you will see that the quantity is reduced by the 50 uh, from this bin location because we just created the good issue the the thing is while while creation of the good receipt and good issue is like if you're not using the continuous stock or if or perpetual inventory on uh, the standard feature of SAP business one which create the general entry in every document uh, to to calculate the moving average prices <coughs> from here then uh, then then it's not gonna it's not gonna create the general entry with a good receipt or good issue that time right and 
if you're using the inventory perpetual inventory then uh, saving an inventory transaction is create a general entry automatically on the background and what happened is like a good receipt when you create then it's going to create a general entry that posts the value of the good receipt on the debit side right of the of the stock account and the credit side on the inventory right so that simply mean like it just increase your quantity from the uh, from your inventory and it just decreases the amount right and same thing happened with the good issue is like creating a general entry that posts the value of the good issue on the debit side right so good issue issues issued goods on the debit side of the inventory offset and decrease the account of the credit side uh, of the stock account right so that's how the good issue uh, handle uh, handle handled into the inventory perpetual so now if you're gonna see into uh, the inventory transfer then i'm gonna say we're gonna use the same document uh, same item so you can go to the inventory transaction open the inventory transfer and i'm gonna say uh, in the, the main difference in here we can see the business partner in inventory transfer and I'm, I'm gonna come into that like in a minute but if you're gonna uh, in, in, the, in the transferring the stocks it's uh, uh, it's le let's say you have the, you have some quantity into the different warehouse but someone asks you for the more quantity let's say you have uh, an item quantity of 50 in the one warehouse but someone asks for the 70 but the uh, but the 20 quantities belong to the some different warehouse and you want to move that uh, move that item from uh, from the second warehouse to the first warehouse so you can deliver all the 70 quantity together to the customer so that that would be the case to you the tra uh, tra transfer stocks and when you add an inventory transfer from one warehouse to another warehouse then system also use the general entry uh, to create a general entry in, in the perpetual in, uh, in the, into the perpetual inventory right in that case and uh, um, and that in that case what happened is like uh, the general entry posts the value of the transfer good on the debit side of the stock account and of uh, the warehouse uh, one, let's say, and on the credit side of the inventory account of warehouse two, let's say, because we are just sending uh, sending the item from the warehouse two to warehouse one. So the quantity in the warehouse one will be increased and uh, quantity of warehouse two will be decreased. So that's why the credit side of the inventory account for the warehouse two and the debit side of the stock account of warehouse one so that's how the uh, general entry work in this one now coming to the coming back to the business partner of inventory transfer so that could be used in the customer consignments so for example like the inventory transfer document can also be used to transfer the item to the consignment warehouse which is at your customer location and unlike the good receive uh, good issue and good receipt document inventory transfer have the field as we can say as the business partner the contact person and the ship too so for example once you select a business partner then you will see all the information like where is your uh, consignment warehouse you can you can select on your customer side right and when items are withdrawn for the consignment warehouse at the customer side you create an AI invoice for the item and quantities used and each row difference the consignment warehouse in the in the AR AR invoice document so that the inventory is so is shown as removed from the warehouse when the invoice is saved right every time so that's how you can also use the inventory transfer in the consignment warehouse right so for example uh, let's say i'm using the same item and i want to transfer this quantity to b01 uh, warehouse right and i'm gonna try to add and it's gonna add it into this warehouse into our default bin right so that's how you can add it now uh, let's gonna uh, we're gonna also talk about the inventory transfer request inventory transfer request is basically a, a, a first step before the inventory transfer that can be uh, that can be uh, not gonna affect any any uh, general entry uh, or any stock uh, stocks into the uh, into the warehouse it's just gonna create a request that you are willing to transfer the amount uh, or sorry you are willing to transfer the uh, item uh, for from one warehouse to the different warehouse 
or from one end one bin to another bin. So when the inventory transfer request has the status open, so let's let's create one first. So let's say I'm gonna use this one, right? And firstly, I have to close this one, and I'm gonna refresh the document for the better understanding of of the view. And then I'm gonna create this one from zero one to B01 for 10 quantity, right? Let's say, and from this warehouse. Okay, and now if you're gonna, uh, if you're gonna add this document, then what happened is like once you create the inventory transfer request, then you will see for the issuing warehouse, our, our issuing warehouse is 01, and here is our, our 01. So if you refresh this document, then you will see that the committed quantity is increased by the 10 because we, we want to transfer the 10 quantity from the warehouse 01 to the warehouse B01, and you will see the ordered quantity is increased by 10 into the warehouse where we are expecting this uh, quantity. And uh, when the inventory transfer request has the status closed, so when you create the inventory transfer from your inventory request, that time your inventory uh, transfer will be get created and your inventory transfer request will be get closed. And that time you will see that the committed quantity is reduced by the 10 and it's added into the in stock quantity and reduce the order quantity as well, right? And that's how the inventory, uh, inventory transfer request work. Now, now let's, uh, we, we can also discuss about the case where you have to uh, transfer the uh, you have to transfer a good goods from one warehouse I'm sorry from one bin to another bin and in that case you have to select the same warehouse right and when but you have to select you have to select the different bins so this is this is the from bin location and that that is the two bin location and i want to i want to send one quantity from from bin location so let's say i'm selected from this warehouse and the two bin i'm gonna say not in this bin but i'm gonna send this one item into the uh, the system bin location and when you add this document so that's how you can create an inventory transfer for between the different bin location but same warehouse and as the summary like the good movements can be happened and recorded by the marketing document and by the inventory transaction as we saw and there are like the uh, three main inventory transaction that we just saw is like the good receipt inventory transfer and the good issue and good receipt. Uh, the good receipt is used to uh, receive items into a uh, warehouse. Good issue basically transfer the goods outside the warehouse and inventory transfer is used between moving the goods between from one warehouse to another warehouse or between the different build location. A warehouse is required for all the inventory documents and if one is not manually entered into the transaction then the icp business one is smart enough to pick the default warehouse from the item uh, that's assigned then you cannot enter a business you can not enter the business path into the good receipt and good issue as we already saw and uh, you can uh, you can use the uh, inventory transfer as the consignment uh, warehouse as well using the business partner but afterwards creating the air invoice and you react, if you activate the bin location for the warehouse, then the bin location is also required every time when you use the warehouse on the inventory document as we already saw in here. And if you're using the perpetual inventory, then each good movement automatically creates the general entry uh, as we already discussed as well. So this was the whole uh, complete introduction about the good issue, good receipt and the inventory transfer. If you have any question, please feel free to uh, comment down below. And thank you for watching. Stay tuned. Take care.